Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're already a subscriber, I'm so glad you're here. This is going to be a short and sweet bonus type of reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time. So let's see how this goes for Gemini spirit. Messages for Gemini in love. For Gemini. So let's see what's been going on in the past, present, and future here for love. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Reverse, and the Star. I feel like in the past there possibly was thought, action, energy put into a, this connection. But presently, it's not successful. There's something that maybe the, the success is delayed or perhaps it just doesn't feel like there's much success here. But you have hope, Gemini, with the star for the future. At least one of you has hope or faith or maybe has made a wish that this connection will improve. Any insight or challenges? Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, Reverse interesting i feel like someone is um holding on to the past here and i say someone because gemini you and your person are both here the person that you're dealing with right now or the person that you could be dealing with in the future i feel like with the six of cups reverse someone's stuck in the past here and i feel like they shouldn't be so it's almost like there's something wrong about the fact that someone is still kind of holding on to this connection with you or maybe secretly keeping tabs on you we'll see what that's all about how do you feel about this person well we have temperance Sagittarius energy and the knight of swords I feel like you're waiting to hear from this person let me move these down I feel like you're waiting to hear from this person um, I feel like you've been patient and you know that's not a surprise to any Gemini's I have been watching my channel um, how do they feel about you the sun, wow, okay. Five of wands reverse. So they want to fix this. So whatever conflict or situation that's happening right now, this person doesn't want it to be an issue anymore. What's the outcome here? The chariot reversed. Cancer energy and the five of swords reversed. So what I see here is a very slow fixing of an issue. Because when it, once again, we have the Five of Wands reverse, the Five of Swords reverse. So this is overcoming a conflict. Overcoming a resolution, basically. But with the Chariot reverse, once again, there, the movement is stopped here. Um, or it's delayed in some way. There's There could be a delay here, which, once again, Geminis are not new to this. And Gemini, you know, I'm using a whole new spread. <laughs> trying to get as much messages as I can for you but you know I can't help that it's the same message I mean what can I say <laughs> okay so then what do you need to know any hidden factors here judgment reverse king of Pentacles reverse yikes so someone here made a mistake um, someone could be having a delayed awakening someone here could be having this could be a delayed second chance um, or I feel like this was just a bad judgment call especially because the king of Pentacles is reverse you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Cancer, a Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. You could be dealing with any sign. Those are just the signs that happen to be out on the board right now. But the King of Pentacles, when it's upright, that is the ideal partner for me. For me. Um, it's someone that you want to be with. They have it all, kind of. Um, but when he's reversed, it's someone that's not a good partner or has nothing to give. And I feel like this person which I feel this is your person. Um, they don't have much to give right now, perhaps, because I feel like they made a ju bad judgment call here in the past. And that's why they should not be, that's why there's the Seven of Swords. I feel like that's what, the, the, your person is the Seven of Swords here. Because I feel like they, they shouldn't be paying attention to you, but they are. And I don't know why that is, unless this is some, some sort of third party situation. So why is this all happening? What's at the bottom of the deck? Well, the Four of Swords. <laughs> Gemini. <laughs> Overall energy is the Four of Swords. Right after that, we have the Six of Swords. Okay. But the Four of Swords is here. So Gemini, you already know. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. 
I'd love to have you here. I'd love for you to stay, subscribe. If you already are a returning subscriber, um, then you already know what this Four of Swords potentially means here. I feel like this is a card of thinking, planning, reflecting. There's no action that this person is taking and there's no communication that this person is participating in, right? So let's clarify and see what is going on here. You want to hear from this person. Temperance and Knight of Swords. That's clear, clear as day. I feel like you're ready to hear from this person. So I'm not going to clarify every single card. I'm just going to clarify the cards that I feel I need a little bit more clarity on. So here I want to know about the Six of Swords reverse. Because this is what's happening in the present. Past, present, future energy is here. So why is the Six of Swords reverse spirit for Gemini? Now Gemini, feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. I could be talking about you or the person that you will, you are or will be dealing with. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. Eight of Swords. Fear. Feeling, being stuck, feeling stuck. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Wow, Ace of Cups. So there's love here. There's love here. And there's the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person really cares about you, Gemini. Um, there's love that exists here between you and this person. But the Eight of Swords tells me that someone is either trapped or fearful. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here, Spirit? Nine of Cups. Ten of, okay, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Aries energy there, Six of Pentacles after that. Well, some of you right away are dealing with someone who's married because I have the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles has shown up. Reversed and upright. And I feel like someone wants to have their cake and eat it too or <laughs> they're fearful that they're not going to get their wish in the end. So if they were to leave the third party and end up with you, there's no guarantees. And that, I feel, makes someone very nervous. For others of you, if you're not dealing with someone that's married, I feel like this is someone that right now they're focused on themselves and not on a long-term commitment. And I don't think this is fair to you and they know it. Because I feel like with the Six of Pentacles here, some of you could be getting breadcrumbed or this person just doesn't have enough to give you. And that makes sense because the King of Pentacles is reversed here. Why the star? Why this star? What's this star about? Ten of Swords. So even though this has ended, because I feel like there might have been an ending here between you, either someone, either you had an ending with this person in the past, Gemini, or you're hopeful that there will be an ending in one of your lives that will allow this to happen. Tell me about this star. This could also be healing from an ending. Why is this star here? Nine of Wands. Yeah, this has been difficult. But someone has held on with the Nine of Wands. They've waited. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone's waited because they can see the potential of a new beginning here. Of something to start over or something to be repaired or something to happen. Why the Four of Swords then? What's going on? This is the reason why everything is happening. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here for Gemini? Four of Wands. A card about stability, domestic happiness, the star again. I feel like someone is, this is what they're dreaming about. Hoping for, planning for. 
I mean, but this is all well and good to be um, desiring this, planning for this, dreaming about this. But uh, I think this chariot should be reversed. I mean, enough reflecting, right? King of Swords. So I feel like this person wants clarity first. So they want to talk to you first. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. I feel like, you know, communication needs to happen first. But I think it's almost like this person needs to hear something from you, Gemini. So over here in the challenges or the insights, we have the Seven of Swords with the Six of Cups reversed. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The moon, yeah. Pisces energy. Someone's um, doing something in secret that they shouldn't be doing. And it involves you. I feel like they're attracted to you in secret. Maybe they keep taps on you in secret. I'm telling you, this is the energy that I was picking up earlier. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Four of Swords, yeah. So while someone's not doing anything <laughs> with this Four of Swords, and there's the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck, I think there is a third party for a lot of you. Um, but even if it's not, the message is the same in my opinion. Um, this is somebody that, while they're not doing anything, they are keeping tabs on you. I feel like the more they observe you, the more they think about you. Let's get some insight here into what you guys are thinking or feeling about each other. Can you get some insight, please, for Gemini and this person that Gemini is or will be doing with spirit. Can we get some insight, please, into this person? Tell me about Gemini's energies in this connection. Inner voice, intuition, guidance, answers. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. Looking inward, the bottom of the deck. Interesting, Gemini. I feel like um, intuitively you know something here. Maybe you've listened to your gut, your, your instincts about this person, this connection. It's like you know something already. Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection, Spirit? What are their energies in this connection? Pure seduction. You are being tempted to give into your desires. Yep. You are a temptation for this person, Gemini, because once again, and there's hidden feelings at the bottom of the deck. Yep. Once again, you're a temptation to this person because they're not supposed to be around you or interested in you. But they are. Fascinating. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. What do you want to hear from this person? Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Ace of Wands. Yeah, you want you want confirmation, I guess, that this new beginning there that, that that there's potential for this to happen. That someone feels the same way that you do. I don't think you've heard that from this person. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Can I get one more, please, for this Knight of Swords? The Sun. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, clarity, I feel. I feel this is clarity. And I, I think if I think also this person would make you it would make you very happy to hear from this person. Knight uh Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. For this person to come forward and even send you even a text saying hello, been a long time, I feel like Gemini, that would make you very happy. And if that resonates with you, then let me know in the comments. Would you be really happy to hear from this person? Are you looking for confirmation from this person? Because I feel like you just want to know. You just want to confirm what you already know. Or what your gut is telling you here. Tell me about the five of wands reverse. Why is the five of wands here? Reverse spirit. Yep, five of swords. The Emperor. Yeah, this per okay. Four of Pentacles. It's very interesting. The message I'm getting here is fixing things with you, Gemini, is going to cause problems for this person elsewhere. I feel like that keeps them holding back here. 
with the Four of Pentacles was behind that. The Wheel of Fortune. My goodness. Our friend shows up again. Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Yes. This person knows that... I feel like they're trying to look at this from all angles with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, I also feel like this person's thinking, okay, I need to pick the right time, the right opportunity, the right cup, you know, the right option here. Because they know that I feel more problems will happen once they resolve things with you. I'm also getting that whatever happened between you, it wasn't fair to you, Gemini. This person knew better. They're showing up as an emperor. This person knew better. They might be older than you, wiser, or just more mature. They knew better. Can I get some more insight, please? Queen of Swords. Interesting. And I feel also they would have to make... Yeah, okay. So I feel even talking to you. Interesting. Okay, so the message I'm getting... Sorry, I was just being corrected. <laughs> Sometimes I start like talking what I think the message is, right? What comes to mind and I get corrected. So the message is, Gemini, that what happened between you, this person is now expecting you to be this queen of swords as you should be. There are two battles, this, and this has, this has come up before, this message. Um, there's two battles this person is going to have to go through. The first battle is communicating with you. And fixing things with you and the second battle is dealing with whatever they're dealing with now if they are in a third party for example that's another battle there are two battles this person would have to face and make no mistake they know they screwed this up they know that they screwed this up because now they're stuck tell me about judgment reverse with this king of Pentacles reverse Tell me about Judgment Reverse with this King of Pentacles Reverse. The Hermit Virgo Energy. What is it with Geminis and Virgos? <laughs> Tell me more about Judgment Reverse and King of Pentacles Reverse. Yeah, this person has done a lot of soul searching. Yep, the Devil. Capricorn Energy. This person knows. Yep, there's the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. They know that they got themselves into this mess. And it was not emperor behavior, and it was definitely not king of pentacles upright behavior. They got in, yep, there's the five of cups. Thank you, spirit. This person is regretful. They know that whatever mess they're in is their own fault, and they should have known better, and they still effed up. So why is the chariot reverse? I mean, if this person is already doing this soul searching, and doing all of this daydreaming and checking up on you, what's what's the hold up, right, Gemini? I, I, I don't worry. I already know you're asking me. <laughs> I know you want to know. So we'll see what Spirit says here with the Chariot Reverse. Spirit, why is the Chariot Reverse? What does Gemini need to know about this Chariot Reverse? Okay. Why is the Chariot Reverse? Come on, spirit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Gemini, you're not going to like this message. One more. One more, spirit. Can I get one more for this chariot reverse, please? What does Gemini need to know about this chariot reverse? Six of swords. Good. <laughs> okay, three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So Gemini, while well, I was... um clarifying here with the high priestess the message was it's not for you to know i know right you are meant to be in the dark and that's another um feel free to check out the previous gemini if this is resonating for you the last two to three readings i've done for gemini's this is a continuation of that it feels like feel free to watch those readings but we've gemini's have gotten the message before that there's something that you are not aware of because it's outside of you. You're outside of this whole thing. Five of Pentacles is here, which shows me, I feel like you're outside looking through a window at what's happening elsewhere. But then I got the Six of Swords. <laughs> just I just keep asking Spirit, right? Because I don't want my Geminis to be upset. 
And I'm getting that someone will eventually walk away and leave some sort of difficulty behind, right? I do see that. But I don't see that happening soon. Why? Because the chariot is reversed in the outcome. This is the outcome position right here that we're looking at. And the four of swords is why everything is happening right now. So these two, and also, I just want to point to you at the board. There's no cards on the board here about action. I don't see a knight of wands. I don't see a page of wands. I don't see a king of wands. I don't see a queen of wands. I see the emperor, there are doers, but the emperor is not you, that's your person. I don't see a magician here, I don't, etc, etc, etc. I don't see doers on the board. I see thinkers, the hermit, four of swords, four of swords. <laughs> um, I see communication potentially here, but I feel like this is what you're waiting for. Because this person is probably thinking about what to tell you. They haven't though. They're a hermit. They're showing up as a hermit. They're showing up as someone that I feel is um, is being sneaky. They're not being out in the open with you, Gemini. This is someone that's hiding something from you. Or doing something in secret. So how would you know? Your intuition is probably telling you, but it's not actually being expressed or shown. If this resonated for you, please let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more videos from me. Um, thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.